So our next presenter is Andrew Fowler, a computer science and engineering student at Oregon Health and Science University. And his presentation is Efficient Typing with a Brain-Computer Interface. Welcome, Andrew. Imagine waking up in a hospital bed, completely paralyzed. Your mind is intact, but you can't speak a word, signal for help, or even smile at a loved one. What I've just described is called locked-in syndrome. Because people with this condition are unable to move or speak, they are severed from all standard means of communication. And yet, communicating with others is profoundly important to what it means to be a human being. The question motivating my research is this. How can we use technology to help people with locked-in syndrome communicate? Now, you may have guessed that the key to this problem lies in the brain. After all, if a person is mentally intact, it makes sense to focus our attention there. Well, this is exactly what we've done. Over the past couple of years, I've been part of a team that designed and built a special typing system that allows people with locked-in syndrome to communicate using only their brain waves. It works like this. The user wears a special electrode cap that measures brain waves. Next, we ask them to focus their mind on a single alphabet letter they wish to type. Then, we use a computer screen to rapidly display every letter of the alphabet, one at a time. When the person sees the letter they want, there's a part of the brain that says, hey, that was my letter. That little flash of recognition registers as a small spike in their brain waves. We can then say, what letter was on the screen when that spike occurred, and then type that letter. Then we start the process again, building a message one letter at a time. Since I'm a computer scientist and not a neurologist, my contribution to the project is computer models of language. Well, why is language important? Well, it turns out that using brain waves for typing can be extremely difficult because that little flash of recognition is hard to detect. When you're trying to decide which of the 26 letters of the alphabet is the right one, brain waves alone aren't always enough. What a language model does is help to narrow that search. It knows that some letters of the alphabet are much more common than others. It knows that if you've just typed a Q, the next letter you want is probably a U. It can also do things like automatically finish words with predictable endings, or help the user go back and fix typos efficiently. We have found that, p that language models make typing faster and more accurate for people with locked-in syndrome using our system. I hope that my continued research will contribute to helping people get a little part of their lives back, even if it's as simple as saying hello or saying thank you. <laughs>